was interested in the difference between mathematical infinity and the imperfection of an artist's hand drawing a circle inscribed inside a square where the intersection is at a point infinitely small. When one draws it, it there's there's no way that the the paint can can meet at just a single point. But yet the intention was clearly to draw that tangent. And so in fact the the goal of the artist was not met. It'll never be met. Circle and square is composed of seven smaller pieces, starting with the first one by one, which is square, one square, two by two, four squares, up until seven times seven, which is 49 squares, and each square is a note. And for three by three, this is where it deviates, where the inscribed circle intersects all of the notes except for the center. So out of the nine root notes given, I can use eight to compose. Eight and its octaves. And four by four, five by five, so on. Six by six, till we get to seven by seven. And the way that the notes are arranged is that the lowest note is up here to the highest and arranged in a zigzag pattern down so that the circle will choose a diverse array of notes. And, uh, and that's, a, I guess, a simple explanation of it.